Okay, I hope to God that this works because it is like literally almost 7 a.m. and I'm really fucking tired. But oh well. A friend of mine is asking for help with a program and how to unzip those files. So I'm going to show her and by an extension all of you how I did it. So what she's wanting to do is Okay. Um what she's wanting to do is get Kitchen Impact models and this is where we get them from. This is a list from Hoyo Lab with every single Genshin Impact model since release. Like, you can say this says first, and here it says second. Like, this is the second time they appeared. Third, fourth, fifth. And this is straight to download. Like, if you click the thing, it automatically downloads. So, as a um, sort of test, I'm going to use the Yelan model and just click. And here you can see that it automatically downloaded. So, now I'm going to go. open in folder and this right here is the yellow one this down here is hazo i just tested it beforehand so you're going to uh, right click not left click right click and i use um Either, yeah, right here, WinRAR, a free version, I'm not going to go into that, but you're going to use, um, it's German here, but I can translate, it's unzip2 and the file name. It's going to make a second file with the same name, but unzipped. And there you go. If you open it, this right here is the model, I assume, because this is the only PMX file. And what is this? Okay, this one is pretty much useless. Um, okay, so now we will go into Blender. If it loads, I'm going to make a new general file. Then I'm going to delete the cube. I'm going to open cats. Make sure you have cats installed. It's just a small add-on for uh, 3D models. And MMD uh, tools. MMD tools. This is also important for these models. I'm going to import model. Go to downloads here. We're going to look again what the file is called. Starts with a P right here. And I'm going to go here. Then here. And there you go. Then once this shows up, I'm going to fix model. This could take a while. And there we go.
The reason this is purple is because the texture is not loading properly, like it said right here. So I'm going to change these real quick. We're going to close and save. And we're going to open this again. This, this. These are all the textures. And this is the one we need to change. Is it here? Right here, the hair model and the jacket. So I'm going to copy. I'm going to make a new text file. I'm going to paste this here. This enter close this, close this. We're going to open Blender again. <coughs> Make a new general file, delete cat. Downloads. Now let's try that again. There we go. Oops. And that's pretty much it. Yeah. All the textures are loading properly. Armature looks good. Pretty much the flat version. I'm going to. This is simply the mesh file. This is what I mostly use, but you can also do this, but this does not look good at all. And here you can pla practically only see flat surfaces. It, this is much better. And this works with every single model I can Do the same with all of these. So, yeah. Have fun.